All right, here is a little planner that I got. It's got all these pockets in it. It's felt, so I'm kind of worried about it actually drying out really quick with the sun on it. So I was thinking that I probably need to put something in the pockets. So I've got this plastic, it's type five, on the recycle code, which means that it, uh, I can't remember the exact type, but it's supposed to be like microwavable safe type of plastic. Um, and I think drinking straws are made out of it and stuff. So it's like food grade plastic. What comes in it is goat feed. I just took the bag and cut it and putting it in kind of like a little pocket inside of a pocket. I'm gonna do probably about half of them or maybe right around half of them that way and then half of them not to see if it matters because this is a thicker fabric than the one that I have over there with my uh, blueberry and my uh, bunch of onions. Those get dry really, really quick, and they're having a hard time. I need to do something else uh, with them. Maybe put a dish under them to have water in the base most of the time. But I'm going to hang this and fill it full of soil. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. Well, I don't have a level. I think I'm going to keep it kind of low so I can see what I'm doing. Hmm, I didn't think this through, did I? Kind of need this. Or sorry, I added on five sixteenths, and this is a quarter inch screw. There it is. That didn't work. Is that level? Oh, wait, y'all can't tell me. Uh, let's just put one in and see what it looks like. Yeah, close enough for me on this. All right. All right, well, should be good enough for now. I've got a few more of these to cut to put in here. Let's see, so one, two, so I need to do a lot more. All right. Let's try to catch all the... I just do this row right here for right now. I changed the angle of the camera because you're not being able to see the bottom very well.
All right, so right now, all I'm gonna do is this row here, all the way to here is got the plastic in it and the rest of the way down does not. So we shall see what it does. I'm gonna go ahead and get, I might try to plant some stuff in it. Have some plant starts. These are, I believe, kale and maybe um, maybe some Swiss chard. I'm not sure. I have to look at my previous video with my girls planting seeds to find out what was what. But this one will tell me, and I'll like I'll plant it from this edge that way, and I should be able to figure out what it was. <laughs> I'll probably plant one of each of these in their, the different pouches and see what does better. Because all these seeds are started at the same time. So each one of these plugs should be pretty well in the same ballpark. These two look pretty bleh. All right. I'm going to plant this one at the top. Okay, that's that one. Now let's go for this. I think I'll do this. Why is that green and this one's purple? Hmm. I'll go with the purple one again. And I'll do the first one here. The same type. But even if I never figure out what was what, since they're planted the same way, same technique and everything, should be able to tell which one did better. I know what I'm gonna put in there. I'm back. Here's the bok choy. I'm gonna try to plant some of it in it. This is some, not the greatest looking dill. I'm not sure what's going on with it. It's kinda, but I'll just have to deal with it. Oh gosh, hilarious. I know. So I'm gonna take some of the, of the bok choy and try to just pull it up and pretty much just make a little spot and set it down in it. Give them just a little bit of drink to settle them in more. The rest of them, I'll probably start some seeds and stuff and see if they work better that way as a seed starting. All right, we'll see what that does. I'll have a lot more planning to do. So far, I like this pretty well. I'm not sure how well it'll grow anything, but I think it'll look cool once it really starts producing plants. The only fear is it getting too dry staying too moist all right well this was my video for today